Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 121st episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, now to start off, I just wanted to say that I did update Best Tech Info's theme last weekend. So for any of you who haven't seen it yet, just be sure to go to Best Tech Info. I also recently added a new enhanced mobile experience for iPhone as well as iPad users. Also, some Android devices will also be able to access the mobile theme, which is superior on a mobile device in comparison to the desktop version, which in my opinion looks absolutely great and looks far better than the previous desktop version. So again, just be sure to check out my site. All pages will reflect the new update. Also, as far as the fourth generation iPad giveaway I'm holding in collaboration with the members of iPod Uplink and Jailbreak Nation is concerned, we're actually concluding that this weekend, so make sure to get your entries in. All you have to do is go to any of our new videos, rate them up, and leave a comment down below in the comment section. You don't have to include a specific keyword, it just has to be a relevant comment, and once your comment is posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. So of course, yes, that does mean you can enter on this video, just be sure to rate it up and leave your comment down below. All right, now to start off the news, I just wanted to talk about iOS 6.1 but first we have to talk about 6.0.2. So as many of you know, Apple released iOS 6.0.2 exclusive to the iPhone 5 and iPad mini to correct a minor unnamed bug that could impact Wi-Fi connectivity. And with their release, Apple effectively fragmented iOS as a whole. Now, while there have been iOS releases in the past that were specifically for certain devices, Apple typically releases another firmware shortly after to unify the iOS platform. And in the case of 6.0.2, seeing as it was only issued to correct a minor Wi-Fi bug, it's possible that Apple released it for the sole purpose of ensuring that all of their users will be able to utilize their over-the-air update feature to upgrade to 6.1 once it's released. So when exactly is that? When will the public be able to upgrade Grade 2 6.1. According to the predictions of Ionic, a popular iOS developer and hacker, Apple should have released a beta version of iOS 6.1 either on December 31st or January 1st, which obviously they didn't. Looking back in the past at iOS 5.1, only two days went by from the time Apple ceded the last iOS 5.1 beta to developers to when they actually released it to the public. So if you want complete details on 6.1 and its upcoming release, again, just be sure to stay tuned. I will keep you guys completely covered in this series. All right, now moving on. If you guys didn't happen to catch my last video, just make sure to watch it. I'll leave a link to it down below in the more info. I cover all of the major jailbreak updates of 2012, and I also wish you guys a happy new year. Again, 2013 is going to be great, and I really would like to thank you guys for all of your continued support. So again, if you're at all confused on the status of the iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, or 6.1 jailbreak, just be sure to check out that video. I go over everything in it from explaining the difference between a tethered and an untethered jailbreak to going into depth on what POSIX Ninja is working on and why the current jailbreak only supports certain older iOS devices. And also in that video, I mentioned that the popular cracked apps community, Haculos, has been shut down. And in addition to just shutting down their site, they removed the install list source from Cydia. So users will no longer be able to use Installus to obtain illegal cracked applications on either their iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And while I personally think this is great news, as Haculeus stated in their own message of closure, other more established communities will most likely rise to prominence in their absence. And as for everybody who asked me why they shut down, again, they were very vague. They left a few minor details, but they didn't go really into depth. So if you want more details, just be sure to check out the post I have listed below. All right, moving on. According to a recent report from the Next Web, an iOS developer came across something rather intriguing. References to both iOS 7 and the next generation iPhone in their app logs. Now, while both iOS 7 and the 2013 iteration of the iPhone are far from release, it's not uncommon for developers to discover references for future devices and firmwares buried inside their app analytics. Furthermore, MacRumor states that they took a look at their visitor log and noticed that they started receiving visitors with iOS devices running pre-released versions of iOS 7. All right, next up, according to the Chinese Times, a popular Chinese news site, Apple may be planning to adopt screens that utilize touch on display technology for their next iPhone. Now the display panels are currently said to be in testing phases, so hopefully they will be ready for the next iPhone. And for those of you who may be wondering what exactly is touch on display technology, unfortunately there isn't a lot of information available right now. However, we do know that it will have improved optical performance and a thin profile, measuring at approximately 0.5 millimeters. And it's possible that Apple's looking to switch display types due to various interference issues and the overall slow response speed of the touch panels used for the iPhone. 
iPhone 5. All right, and finally, a popular iOS security expert and hacker named Pod2G started something on Twitter. He essentially said that he wants Apple to have an open iOS and allow developers to actually create things like tweaks and modifications. Shortly after tweeting this out, numerous followers were suggesting that Apple is one and that there will not be a jailbreak for iOS 6. He responds saying that this isn't true and that the development of the iOS 6 jailbreak is underground right now, so they're not currently releasing any information on it on purpose. So if you're interested in having Apple give developers more freedom, just be sure to check it out and sign it. I will have a link to a post on my website with the article that details everything down below in the more info. All right, now that's it for this video. Don't forget to rate it up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos and to enter the giveaway. Also, just be sure to leave your comment down below in the comment section. And for the question of the day, let me know what you guys think about Best Tech Info's new look. Again, just anything related to it, you can leave either down below or on Best Tech Info. And to be updated more often, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.